I did something that could be considered a little bit crazy. I bought a new car. Originally, I was gonna buy a car that I would drive around the city instead of using the big car. Um, but buying a car that I don't really wanna drive, that didn't make a whole lot of sense. It just felt wrong. So I got something else instead. Something that doesn't accompany the Defender, but could actually replace the Defender. Oh, and I'm not talking about this piece of shit. This I didn't buy, it's just a nice background. It's a little bit of a childhood dream. I never really expected that I would get a car from this brand and I actually never expected that I would get this specific car. It wasn't necessarily my favorite car from this brand, but when I discovered what this car was capable of, I was convinced. So I went pretty quick, I found one, I bought one, and here it is. Let me introduce you to our newest project, Sergeant Pepper. Yes, that is a Porsche Cayenne S 4.5 liter V8 with 340 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque. That looks like a midlife crisis came early. Don't worry, we're gonna make something pretty cool out of this. But before we head into what's gonna happen to this piece of metal, I'm gonna show you what the current state of the car is so we know what we start with. The most obvious thing on this car is the rust. That's why I got it at a better price. Um, it's not too bad, but it looks ugly and that's why I already started working on some of the rust. This is the last bits that I haven't done yet. I've treated it a little bit, but I gotta clean this up and then do a little bit of a paint job. So the boot looked pretty bad, but I cleaned that up already. And right now this just needs a wet sand and a polish. Hopefully I will get it as smooth as this. This corner looks a bit better. I already sanded and polished this. It doesn't look perfect, but it's not too obvious. Uh, there is more important things right now than the paint job, but I wanted to make sure that I stopped the rust and made it look a tiny bit less crappy. As you can see, the sergeant is hanging a bit low right now. Uh, that's because uh, this thing came with air suspension, which already failed after one week. So we're definitely going to toss the air suspension. Uh, and that leads us to the first thing we're going to do is lift this baby up um, and put cold suspension in it. So that air suspension is never coming back and this whole uh, spacer lift kit uh, is gonna go in, but I'll tell you more about that when we actually get to it. After the lift kit, we're gonna put some beefy tires underneath there, muds preferably, and I think at least 33s, maybe 35s, but we'll see what's possible. Definitely a roof rack for accessories. And build a camping setup in the back uh, so I can sleep out on the trail. This black is pretty standard, pretty boring. That's not how we roll. So we're definitely gonna do something crazy with that too. But I'm not sure what yet. I don't know what color, I don't know what style, I don't know what type of paint. So we'll figure that out. This car is gonna look completely different in a couple of months. Um, I'm super stoked, super excited to start this build. Um, it's definitely gonna be something completely different, something fresh, something new, uh, something different than Foxy. I, I kind of reached what I wanted to reach with the Defender. Um, so that story is sort of over, I needed something new and I put Foxy up for sale. We'll see what happens with that. Perfect timing, because we recently got this garage space and office upstairs. Uh, so I don't have to be a street bush mechanic anymore. This car also deserves a little bit of class. So I'm excited to be working in here for this winter on this beast. I haven't showed you all the things I wanted to do yet, but I wanted to give you an idea. I wanted to give a little bit of introduction before I started so we know where we started, what the beginning of this adventure is. And uh, I hope you stick around and see what happens to this lovely little car we got. 